Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm celebrating 17 weeks on testosterone, so I'm going to do my weekly update video. Sorry, I'm really sweaty. I just finished training for the day, but I thought this was better than giving you a video at like 1 a.m. So, really the three main things that have happened this week, well, four, actually, okay, there's like been a couple changes that I feel like even some of them just happened like from yesterday to today. So, uh, the first change that happened is I do feel like my voice is starting to get lower. It's still fluctuating a lot. Um, it can go from being really deep to, you know, like much higher than this and then kind of back. I do feel like it's leveled out a little bit, so it doesn't just get like as high. It do, it's not like it goes back to the way it was before I started hormones, but it definitely still fluctuates. So I'm waiting for that to settle, which will hopefully uh, be soon, and then it will hopefully just continue to go deeper from there. But I do feel like today it's pretty deep. And I also just feel like in general it's changing. Um, I haven't done one of those comparison videos where I have you watch me watch one of my older videos yet, and I haven't really been watching my older videos either because it's really, it feels really weird for me, but I will do one of those uh, somewhat soon, definitely at six months, that's something I want to do for sure, but I'm not even at four and a half months, so give me time to emotionally and mentally prepare, but I do feel like it's it's changing, um, not just in terms of deepness, but in terms of just how it sounds. It's kind of really hard to explain, and I know that I sound possibly crazy, but if you if you go back even just like three weeks ago to my voice, my voice was deep, but it's different than the way it is now. So I don't know. It's interesting. It's uh, I don't really know how I feel about it yet. Uh, but it's not really something I can control, so. Uh, the other things that have changed, my arms seem to be getting uh, body hair the fastest. Um, I am definitely noticing more darker hairs and just in general. It's still hard to see unless you're in the light. Like you can kind of, if I move like that, you can kind of see there's like a layer of fuzz, but there is hair lining all the way up here down through and over my hand to my knuckles um, and it's I'm really happy about it because people are starting to be able to see it just like a little bit not as much as like my facial hair which is the next thing that's been changing uh, this is starting to get longer I feel like it was it started back here and started to move forward and I thought that I was hoping and I thought that by now it would sort of be even more up front here hasn't quite reached that yet but it is getting longer and I still continue to get more hair here um, my eyebrows are continuing to fill in and get thicker um, I had like incredibly 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 minor growth downstairs and uh, the biggest change that came, uh, which I think I may have sort of mentioned, but now it just seems to be getting worse, is not a change that I like at all, and that is uh, sort of like a, l a little breakout of acne that is going on. Um, it's kind of hard to see on the video. It's like very light up here, just like a little bit, and there's this one, like, a couple of bits here. Um, the reason why I'm especially mad about this, and you can turn to me and be like, well, this is something you should have expected. Um, the reason why I didn't really expect it is because even before transitioning and when I was growing up as a teenager, I never had acne ever. Uh, during my menstrual cycle or like right before or if I was extremely, extremely stressed out, I would maybe get like one or two zits that would be gone in like a day or two. This is a totally different experience for me and yeah, it was still possible that it could happen, but at the same time, pretty much everybody that I've spoken to who has really bad acne while they're transitioning or had acne that went away, 
they were saying that they broke out a lot when they were growing up. And I had my own skin condition, um, which I still have. You can kind of see these like little bumps. That's also been pretty bad recently, um, but it does get aggravated in the summer. So uh, keratosis polaris, but I never, I guess because of that, I never broke out. And so now I am pretty mad. Uh, I think it's, well, it definitely started uh, the week that I was taken off of testosterone and everything, and I think my body was just, like, so sick and detoxing, and I've just been so stressed out, and I think that just the mix of all of that uh, is bringing it up, but I've already made an appointment with a dermatologist that was recommended by another trans buddy of mine uh, to being trans-friendly, so I'm going to go and see what they can do for me on the 7th. Other than that, everything is the same. Uh, I just look shiny because, as I said, I was working out, so I was really sweaty. Uh, my hair is the same. Uh, hair on my legs is still pretty much the same. Stomach, from what I can tell, I don't really have like hair on my back or you know anywhere uh, that I necessarily wouldn't want it. I mean, I guess there's like a little more hair on my chest, which is cool but it's like blonde fuzz that you can't really you can't see pretty much unless it's in the light and I'm okay with not having a lot of hair right now because I feel like that's gonna be uh, difficult if I'm recovering and have like bandages on like I'm not gonna be wrapped up or anything but if I have like a lot of chest hair and I'm having to change bandages and stuff like that taking that off is gonna be less pleasant got a lot of hair there, but I would like to have some chest hair, um, appropriately, but we'll see what happens, so yeah, that's 17 weeks, and, uh, we'll see what happens at four and a half months next week, I'm gonna post some pictures that I just took on Instagram and Twitter, so you can check those out and, uh, see my progress, alright, thanks for watching, guys, have a good one.